Cheltenham's poor recent form means they'll take any helping hand right now, and Charlton Sean Clare appeared to be in benevolent mood when he gifted possession to the home side. Keeper Stephen Henderson denying Alfie May. Michael Duff's men were without a win in eight in all competitions, but should have opened the scoring. Striker Chucks and Ike clearing the danger on his second Charlton debut. The home side continued to press and did get their reward two minutes before half time. Callum Wright saw his effort saved by Henderson, who could only parry into the path of Dan Enlundulu, the Southampton Loney celebrating his first goal for the Robins. Charlton fans were used to the sight of Anike finding the net during his first spell at the club. He's arrived back at the Valley after a short spell at Birmingham. Two minutes into the second half and his improvised effort wasn't far away. Despite coming into this one, having lost three in a row, the away side didn't give up. And although they left it late, Johnny Jackson's side did find the equaliser. And guess who got it? Anike on target in the 94th minute. Charlton with just one win in six in all competitions. While Morecambe and Crewe drew, three out of the four teams directly uh, above the relegation zone going into today. One with Cambridge and Bolton climbing to 16th and 17th respectively uh, as a result. Now we've talked about this, but look at that. Uh, just to confirm, Rotherham's defeat means they were knocked off the top spot, dropped to third. But Wickham are new leaders, point ahead of Sunderland. However, both sides have played two more games than the Millers and five more than fourth placed Wigan who returned with a win today. So there you go, an absolute wonderful, beautiful match. Plymouth Argyle uh, replaced Oxford United in the last playoff uh, place. Sorry about that.